Okay, hello and welcome to another IELTS essay discussion. The question today is, some people believe that preserving natural environment is crucial. However, most make no efforts to do so. Why do you think this is happening? And what are some simple actions that could help the environment? The purpose of this video is to discuss the first part of the question. Why do you think this is happening? And I'm doing this because I've received two answers and I've received numerous doubts about what is the meaning of this part. So I've received two answers and both of them made mistakes in, in analyzing what exactly does this part mean. So what students think is, why do you think this is happening? So they correlate this with natural environment, the threat to natural environment. Well, that's not the question. The question is, however, most people make no effort to do so. Do what? They make no effort in preserving the natural environment. Why do you think this is happening? That is, why do these people not make efforts? So the question is that, okay, people are aware, some people are aware of the preserving, the need to preserve the natural environment, but most make no efforts. And why do they fail to make efforts to preserve the environment? And what are the simple actions that can direct these people to preserve the environment? So we'll come to this part later. Um, why do you think this is happening? So why are some people not making strong efforts to preserve the environment? They make no efforts at all. Okay, so you have to think about the reasons and ideally your introduction should be followed by a body paragraph one, body paragraph two, and a conclusion. So you can write three body paragraphs. You can write two body paragraphs on this part only. That depends upon your choice. So uh, if, I, if, I, if I were writing in the exam, I would have written two points on why this is happening and write them in two different body paragraphs. Write a third body paragraph on the actions and then conclude the essay. Okay. So what could be the reasons? The reasons could be, well, let me change the color. Yeah, the reasons could be, number one, they could, they may be aware of preserving the natural environment that is crucial, but they may not be aware, they may not be aware of the benefits of preservation. What are the benefits of preservation? Then you should explain uh, the point that they are not aware of the benefits. So what benefits does the natural environment bring and um, what, why are they, these people not aware? Perhaps um, that can be bridged in the second point. Perhaps these people are more caught up in mundane things, uh, more uh, short-term things. They are caught up more in short-term things such as um, the financial assistance to the family. That is more of economics more of economics and society than nature. So you cannot see uh, short-term consequences of destruction of nature. Uh, preservation of nature is more of a long-term thing. Preservation of nature is a long-term phenomena that yields benefits in the long term. Most people are not concerned with long-term things. They are more concerned with um, things which are short-term, which are uh, going to happen the next day, the next month, the next week, uh, the next year, but not in decades or even in centuries. Um, third point. Um, well, many people simply are uh, lazy. Uh, the sloth, the sloth prevents them from taking strong action to preserve the environment. Um, they are simply not ready to take action. So that can be a third reason um, that they are, they do not make any efforts to preserve the environment. You can take three points and simply describe them in one body paragraph, or you can take two points, explain them in one body paragraph, and third in uh, second body paragraph. So that's entirely your structure choice. Um, that will not uh, you know, matter much in the exam. What will matter is the points and a bit of their explanation, how you try to explain them. 
Well, having said this, um, it's, it is important that we should at least um, elaborate this point. Uh, why are people not aware of the benefits of preserving environment? Well, firstly, um, that can be a problem with the media. Um, that media is more concerned about entertainment and social things or, ec or economic things or financial aspects of our life rather than the sustainability part. So the media is not concerned about sustainability. That's another word that you can use, sustainable. Uh, another could be lack of informational campaigns by the government. The governments and non-government organizations, um, they do not make any informational campaigns. A informational campaigns. So um, that is another reason that people are not aware of how their actions are destroying the nature and what actions do they, do they need to take to um, prevent that, to um, preserve the nature. And why? Why are some people simply caught up in sloth? Um, yeah. Why are some people simply caught up in sloth? Well, they do not like to take initiatives. They do not take no initiative um, or no, um, no volunteering efforts. Um, there is no volunteering involved and they are comfortable or they are in their own comfort zone. They are in their comfort zone and this prevents them from taking um, actions or uh, what I should say preemptive measures preemptive measures to prevent the destruction of environment um, so they are not ready to breach their comfort zone they're not ready to breach the zone so that's another word that you can use um, having said everything related to the first part um, I think it's time to move to the second part what are the simple actions that can help the environment uh, well, the simple actions should be related to one, two, three. That is the points you have mentioned in uh, the first part of the answer. Those actions should be related to the actions should be related to the problems, the reasons highlighted here. So, how can they be made more aware? How can they move to long-term goals? How can the sloth or the laziness be broken? Uh, what efforts can governments take? Can there be some informational campaigns? Can there be some uh, legal uh, actions or um, some enactment of laws. The enactment. Remember, the laws are not made, they are enacted. So enactment of laws. Whether the enactment of laws can help people um, become more aware and take action, timely action in preserving the nature. So these were some of the points. Um, you can also talk about some of the environmental campaigns, some tree preservation programs uh, in your country, um, or um, you know any any initiatives that the World Wildlife Fund or other organizations are taking, even the government initiatives. Um, I think that should suffice for your answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Keep sharing it and keep visiting for more interesting videos.